this is Kenny from Ransom Power. In the previous videos, we received some message from the customers about the question of the sodium ion batteries. Compared to the Li-Axi and the lithium batteries, the sodium ion batteries may not be familiar to everyone because the current mainstream technology in the energy storage market is still the lithium batteries. With the research of the sodium ion batteries and some company like CATL had released their first generation of the sodium ion batteries, that became also a topic that everyone would like to know and discuss about it. So today, we are mainly talking about the sodium ion batteries. In the late 1970s, the research work on the sodium ion batteries and the lithium batteries was carried out almost simultaneously. But due to the limitation of the research condition at that time and the strong interest of the lithium batteries, the early research work on the sodium ion batteries was slow and stagnant. In the past two years, the research on the sodium ion batteries has received attention, mainly due to the first one, the environmental pollution of the LSC batteries is inevitable. Its solid and gaseous pollution may be eliminated, but the pollution of the water soluble lead to the heavy metal ions cannot be avoided. The second one is the reserves of the lithium resources are limited. At present, 80% of the world's lithium resources are distributed in South America. But my country, the lithium resources 70% are imported. It's difficult for the lithium batteries to take into account the need of two major industries of the electric vehicles and the power grid energy storage. The third one is the price advantage of the sodium ion batteries. The current battery grid, the lithium covenant, the price has risen to 90,000 yuan per ton. But the sodium ion batteries, the sodium is easy to obtain. So the cost advantage of the sodium ion batteries is obvious. A sodium ion battery has the same structure as the lithium batteries. It's also composed of the positive electrode, negative electrode, a separator, electrolyte, and a casing. The rapid progress of the cathode materials is nickel ion manganese, copper ion manganese system of copper, like oxide, and the production compound root. The rapid progress of the anode materials is the carbon basic. The main source of the electrolyte is changed from the lithium, like the fluorophosphate to the sodium. The anode current collector can be changed from the copper foil to the aluminum foil. Because the radius of the sodium ion batteries is larger than that of the lithium, the chemical bond energy is smaller. The main technical route of the sodium ion batteries has relatively low electrical conductivity, so most of the system need to add the carbon nano shape or the carbon nano tube to the positive electrode materials to improve the electrical conductivity of the batteries. Compared to the lithium ion batteries, the stove diameter is small. Same concentration of the electrolyte has a higher ionic conductivity than the lithium salt electrolyte. A lower concentration of the electrolyte can achieve the same ionic conductivity. The fast charge performance is good. Although the radius of the sodium ion batteries is larger than the lithium batteries, it's difficult to intercalate into the crystal structure to the electrode materials, resulting in a slower movement rate. But this disadvantage can be improved by changing the properties of the negative electrode materials. In terms of the energy density, the capacity energy density of the sodium ion batteries is about 70 to 200 watt hour per kilogram which does not conflict with the energy density of the lithium and cm battery 240 to 350 watt hour per kilogram. In theory, the high energy sodium ion batteries is the same range level with the lithium ion phosphate batteries, about 130 to 150 watt hour per kilogram. In terms of the cycle life, the theoretical cycles of the sodium ion batteries can reach 10,000 times but the current stage is only 2,000 to 3,000 times, which is still little behind the lithium ion phosphate batteries. The sodium ion batteries may be applied to the following scenarios in the future. Two-year vehicles. The sodium ion batteries may be a good choice for the two-year vehicles, 
which is mainly positioned for the short, medium distance travel and whose end users are extremely price sensitive. On the one hand, the sodium is easy to obtain and the material cost is lower. On the other hand, although the energy density 150 watt hour per kilogram of the sodium ion batteries is lower than the lithium batteries, is much higher than the current round mainstream LEAC battery, 50 watt hour per kilogram. In addition to the cycles, it's about two thousand times, and the safety performance is also sufficient to meet the needs of the two U vehicles. U scenarios in cold areas, as we all know, due to its old characteristic, the lithium batteries are prone to decrease in activity, slow internal chemical reaction rate, and also greatly reduce capacity retention rate at cold scenarios. The sodium ion battery still has a discharge capacity retention rate of 90% at minus 20 degrees and still can be normally discharged at minus 38 degrees. At the same time, no special optimization is required and the cost will be effectively controlled. These features broaden the low temperature to a certain extent battery uses scenarios. But at present, the sodium ion batteries is in the early stage of industrialization and the technology development is under continuous research. It cannot be widely used in the market, but its price advantage, fast charge performance and the low temperature performance, etc. make possible to achieve the different positioning in the market with the lithium batteries. It may be able to form a certain market development in the near future. With the video, whole information is helpful for you to understand the sodium ion batteries. See you next time. Bye.